To start, you can pop a folded blanket in the middle of your mat, which will help you with your knees in a bit. And I'll meet you at the front of the mat, which is normally just the smaller end facing forwards. You can pop your blocks um, or your books just close by. We'll grab them in a bit as well. And then I'm just going to face you to start. You'll be facing your front of the mat. We're going to start in mountain shape. Standing nice and comfortably like a mountain, your feet can be spread or close together, whatever feels strong and grounded for you. And often we frame our hands forward, but again, today is for you to explore. Explore what strong, steady stance works for you, where your hands want to fall, how you want to lift through the body, and this is mountain. We'll be delving deeper into what to feel for in its shape in the next few sessions. For now, just explore standing in your mountain shape. And then from here, we go to high mountain next. Surprise, surprise, the arms sweep up. And this is your high mountain. A moment to explore if you want your hands fully straight. If for today you want a little bit of a bend in your elbows, uh, again, let the shape work for your body and explore a nice high mountain standing tall, arms above the head. From high mountain up next comes a forward fold. We are going to journey to our forward fold today by taking your hands around to the sides and down. Start to bend your knees as your hands go down and place your hands on your thighs. So your shape will be different to mine um, because we have completely different shaped muscles and different shaped limbs. So you're going to explore your range in your forward fold. This is the point where you grab your books or your blocks. You put them on their shorter end so the longer way faces up. You place your hands on your blocks, your knees are bent nice and generously, and you find a variation of a forward fold um, that works for you. So just keep feeling your chest melting down, your knees nice and bent. If you'd like, you can drop your head, the top of your head, all the way down to the mat. Feel free to have a look at me at any stage in today's session as we get familiar with what things look like and what things feel like. A moment here to explore your forward fold. You can, if you're nice and comfortable, place your hands all the way down on the, on the ground if you don't need blocks. But if you're feeling really tight in your lower back today, you can even place your elbows or your forearms and ground them on the top of the knees. Lots of options here. Always make the shape work for you. Use the props to make yourself a little bit more comfortable. Forward fold. Up next, a halfway lift. That refers to the spine. So the spine lifts slightly halfway. Your chest is now facing directly down. You're gazing down at the mat and you want this feeling of, the shape is also called flat back. So flat back is almost your spine in as neutral a position as possible. Halfway lift, a moment to explore. And then the halfway lift takes you back to your forward fold. If you are using block books or blocks like me, you can just move them a little bit forwards and out the way because we are going to up next step to a lunge. So to prepare, begin, begin to bring your awareness to your right leg. Your right leg is going to pop back and your right knee is going to drop onto your black, a blanket. From there, we'll make the shape comfortable. So immediately, I want to shimmy shuffle this left foot forward. It was feeling a little bit cramped. So you can do the same. Find a positioning in that left foot where you're stacking your knee on top of your foot. You're sinking your hips a little bit forwards. Look, lunges, lunges are never comfortable. So what feels best for you here? Do you want to grab your books or your blocks again and get a little bit of a lift? That's an option. Another option is bringing your hands to your front knee. So try uh, positioning in your hands that makes you feel a little bit more at ease in the shape. Not that we will stay here for too long, I promise. This is the lunge, runner's lunge. One foot forwards, one foot back. Okay, a moment to 
just explore a little bit, maybe sink the hips a little bit more forwards, maybe push into that top knee to get a bit of a lift in the chest, lunge. From lunge, we're going to move the books or the blocks, place the hands on the mat and bring this left foot back, left knee to mat, into a tabletop shape. Tabletop like a table, you want to almost stack your limbs. You can keep the toes tucked or untucked, what feels best for your feet this, in this session. Tabletop, pressing hands into mat, pressing feet or toes into mat, head nice and neutral. A moment here to just stack yourself like a table. From tabletop, we're going to flow through cat cow. You can just follow my lead. Uh, let the belly drop. Take your gaze forwards, your cow shape. You'll feel a little bit of an arch in your spine. Again, only go to where it feels right for your body in the session. And then we journey to cat shape, rounding the spine like a cat. So you can go ahead, round through the shoulders. You'll notice your head naturally wants to drop, drop the top of the head to face down towards the mat. And you're almost gazing at your thighs here. Cow shape, rounding, cat shape rather, rounding like a cat. Good, neutral tabletop. So just let the spine go back to neutral. Tabletop. And then we are going to step forward with the right foot. We stepped back with the right foot, so you can stay on one side. Right foot steps back, then right foot will step forward. Two step forwards with your right foot. You'll notice your right hand is kind of in the way here of where your right foot wants to be. So a nifty little trick is to lean your weight, lean your um, left shoulder almost over your left hand, lean your weight into your left knee. You can use your block to help you if you need some space or you can just press, tent your fingers and press into the mat. And then you're going to lean, make space with that right hand for the foot. You might even grab the ankle, shimmy, shuffle the ankle forwards or you can just step that right foot forwards. Grab the blocks or the books if you have been using them, or you can just go straight to placing your hands on that right knee. A moment here, we are now lunging on the other side. You'll notice now the left leg is back, the right foot is forwards. A moment to sink the hips. Play with, do you want your toe, your back toes tucked or untucked? And Feel free to move your front foot. Feel free to make the shape feel slightly more comfortable for the next moment as you explore. Good. Hands to blocks or hands to mat if you're not using blocks. To step forwards, we're going to tuck the back toes if they've been untucked and almost like you're kicking off on a race, a runner's race. You're going to give yourself a little bit of momentum to push forwards. And we're coming to a forward fold. You can use your blocks. You can place your hands on your elbows. Find your forward fold variation that feels comfortable in this moment. And the forward fold leads you to a flat back. So we halfway lift the spine. You're gazing down at the mat. You can ground nicely into your books or into your knees if your elbows are on your knees. Good. To get back up to standing, just going to walk the hands up the legs. So you can place your hands on your legs. You can walk your hands up the legs, slowly roll up through the spine. We are going to journey up to high mountain as we raise the arms, meet the palms above the head and bring the hands down to the heart. A little sun salutation on the right side. So now we'll flow to the left. We start in our mountain shape. Again, just get comfortable and explore. And then we gather the hands up to the high mountain. We drop the hands down for a forward fold. So either elbows on knees or hands on blocks or books. Explore. We fold the spine up halfway, rather lift the spine up halfway, halfway lift, and then we fold the spine again, forward fold. 
Okay, so we did the right side last. Now we'll do the left side. Left leg steps back. You can almost shift your weight into your right foot to prepare. Pop up that left foot. Step it back, left knee to your blanket. Shimmy shuffle right foot forwards. Runners lunge. Your, your, I want to say your hips slightly drop forwards. And then choose hands on blocks books or front knee runners lunge left leg is back right leg is forward you can play with back toes tucked or untucked what makes you feel a little bit more stable here good hands to books blocks or to the mat and then we're going to take this right leg back tabletop shape so here if you've been using your books or your blocks you can just move them out the way Tabletop, stack your limbs like a table. Moment to explore, pressing into hands. Are you tucking the toes? Are you pressing into your feet? Flowing through cat cow. So normally we lead by dropping the belly, lifting the gaze, lifting the chest. Spine is in a slight arch. And then we flow into cat shape by rounding through the spine, dropping the head and gazing at the legs. Good. Again, we'll delve deeper into what to do in each shape with your hands and your legs and your limbs and your muscles. But for now, just get comfortable. What does each shape feel like and what goes next? So after our cat shape, we come back to neutral tabletop. And then left side, so we step back with the left leg, we're going to step forwards with the left leg. Left hand is in the way, so either place your left hand on your block to make space here for the where the left foot's going to step, or you can tent your fingers, or you can even just pop your hand up completely, help that left foot step forwards, and we're in a runner's lunge. Right leg is back, left leg is forward. A moment here to shimmy shuffle I always say is <laughs> just find those little small movements that's going to get you a little bit more comfortable in this shape feel free to use blocks books front knee whichever feels best for you good runner's lunge explore and then from here hands back down to your support whether that is your books your blocks or the mat and we're going to step forward. So gather a little bit of momentum by almost prepping like you're just about to kickstart into a race. And then we're going to step this right leg forwards, forward fold. Finding your halfway lift, your flat back. And forward fold. Good. Walking your hands up your legs, rolling your spine up. Shoulders, head, neck last. Gathering the hands up to your high mountain. Meeting your palms. And ending off with your hands at your heart. A little sun salutation for you. Feel free to run through the session so that you can get a little bit more familiar with what goes where and how it feels. And in the next session, we'll delve a little bit deeper. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next session.